Okay, I'm about to do a, a mukbang. I've been wanting to do this for a minute. I'm going to do it um, with crystals. I've been craving crystals in the last little while. So, I might talk on it real quick. But it's going to be a uh, like I said, it's my first time doing it. Doing my uh, hand sanitizer, which I'm at home, but I, you know, sometimes you just like being outside and I just pull it up. So anyway, I'm gonna turn this bag open, do some stuff like my granny taught me how to do, cause this bag ain't gonna be needed anyway. Um, I got me a little small A little special and um just something to snack on right now i'm trying to do good on get my appetite up so when i get to the point like i realize it's a difference between your taste buds your your mind and your actual stomach nobody ever explained that to me like you can be hungry in your stomach but if your mouth is not feeling it like you your appetite to me i think your your appetite really comes through your taste buds so if your taste buds sometimes i have to eat candy sometimes i have to just snack on something just to keep my appetite going so anyway like i said this special is with three crystals a fry and a drink and I got me some sweet tea and um love me some sweet tea so anyway I started learning to eat your fries first or as much of them if you got a big amount of fries you eat them pretty um eat most of the fries that'll get you started getting full anyway if you hungry and I've been messing around looking at lives and wanting to go get something and get stuck I'm looking at these doggone lives especially at night I'll come in and I'll be like okay it ain't gonna take me much to get back out get in the car and go around the corner and get me something to eat <laughs> Yeah, but that's one thing is changing. It takes me a lot sometimes to get back out. So anyway, for those that don't know about crystals, because what I realize is everybody don't have crystals or they don't have these kind of burgers. It's two different places that has crystals. Well, two different places that have these kind of hamburgers that I know of, other than a... Um, like a more private owned um restaurant it's it's um because i know i know um nina boy did um one i think yesterday that's what made me think well i'm about to eat some crystals anyway let me go ahead and motivate myself to make these start making these food videos and just like um uh, one of the guys that uh that uh i subscribe to and he watches my videos and I go to his live sometime and he goes, he comes to my uh, channel. He was like, oh, he just now posted a video, Mike's channel. He's the Mike's Fish, Fishing Channel. And he was saying that um, the food videos is what um, gets you recommended a lot through YouTube, which I was surprised to hear because I just thought it came from out for other people you know, sharing your video out, doing stuff like that, and your subscribers, or either going off of the the short videos, the shorts, trending, whatever. But you know, it's good to come, come across different information. And he actually posted his actual, um, his um, analytic uh, screen on his uh, on his page that at that at, on that at that time. So anyway, 
I'm going to try to start doing more food, doing food videos and of that nature. Because there's some other things that I was trying to, here we go. It was some other things that I was wanting to dip over into, but you get kind of used to and custom, accustomed to doing things. Hold on. You get kind of comfortable on doing certain things. And then once you get comfortable, it's like, okay, it's kind of hard to pull yourself up out of that up out of that mode to whether it be like, okay, I'm going to move over here to do what I said I was going to do. I ain't going to lie, y'all. I love me some damn crystals. But at the same time, I hadn't had them in a long time, and that's why I was kind of getting a, a, a craving for them. Because when I, when I did, one of my first jobs was working at crystals when I was a teenager. So for any of those that don't know, um, they cook a whole batch of crystals and, and most likely I've never been in the back of a, um, oh gosh, what did I call it? <laughs> I'll think of it in a minute. White Castle. I think I might have went to a White Castle before that I can't remember. But anyway, I've never been into um, the back of one in the in the kitchen. Because everybody don't have um, White Castle. Now, there's a couple of places. I know at least one place that has a Crystals and a White Castles, which that, I know that's got to be hell if I, I know some places, like I know for sure, places like uh, Michigan, they have White Castles. I can't think of some of the other states that I'm not used to. But um, I just found out the other day that, that um, California doesn't have white castles. And I know they didn't have crystals most likely. But but anyway, working in crystals, they make up like, I think it's 24 if I remember right. It's 24 that you can put on a whole, um, a whole grill at one time. And um, you, you got to get used to making uh, making up a batch because you might have somebody to come in there and order 24 crystals at one time so really that's already one um that's already one batch gone at one time you might have somebody that come in there and just order two or three crystals four or five you don't know and then the thing about it that's just one that could be one person one one family but you might have two or three people, five or six people with one family. So the thing about it is, when you uh, run a drive through, um, you might have a whole backed up, uh, a drive through backed up. The whole drive through might be backed up. And you'd have no idea how many uh, crystals is going to come out of you being backed up like that. Because one thing you got to realize when you're working at a place like that, that the, the burgers are so small, it's not like a, a hamburger, a Big Mac, or um, Crystal's Burger, I mean, a um, Wendy's Burger, or anything like that. And they do sell burgers like that, too, or sandwiches. But the thing is, like I said, whoever's in the back, they got to... But that, I ain't going to lie, that was the best time, because I did actually, even as young as I was, I did actually have to work. I ended up learning how to work on the grill, because when you work in a place like that, you do kind of want to learn how to run the grill but sometimes they see back then we was we was in old school mode even as teenagers so they we could do that shit with no problem but they still didn't want us to do certain things unless you had been somewhere for a minute like my daughter to be honest my daughter ended up working at crystals which i didn't even really tell her at the time that i had worked at crystals i kind of just let it go, go on and flow through but I ain't gonna lie, she worked there for about two years. She was she was still in school when she first started working. And I told her, as long as she keep her grades up, hey, you good. But the thing about it, you get in there, sometimes that'd be the best time when you had to 
get them uh them patties on the grill you have to put the um the onions on them while they on the grill and the main way they come is just onions and mustard and pickle and so you had that grill going all them all them look and they thin anyway so it's not gonna take them long to cook and then you put the um the bread on the top of them while they still on there so that that bread can get that that, that steam coming up and like i said when you got when you backed up you oh you got that little salt uh salt and pepper mix that you uh, shake on it the seasoning but chris has been around way before i came on this on this earth so but my grandmama when we was when I was younger, she didn't. They didn't really go to Crystal's. I ain't never really hear them talk about it. Um. But as I got older, she might say, "Oh, I wouldn't mind having me a good old Crystal." Or when my daughter was working there, for sure, she was ready to eat them Crystal. But yeah, it's different from when you cooking. Them little square hamburgers. Now, like I said, you might have one person that can eat a whole. You you never know how somebody's appetite might be. They might be able to eat twelve crystals by their damn self. And if it's more than more than them coming through, like I said, the rotation is is real. Uh, it can be it can get hectic. But if you know what you're doing, that's why I say, when you start doing this stuff when you're young. You learn early how to how to get in and get at it, and don't be, you know, procrastinating. Like I said, you gotta have a good teamwork. You gotta have good teamwork, and that's where that's the place that I learned how to count backwards. Cause we used to have to work on the drive-through, and the drive-through didn't have a regular register, so you had to learn how to count backwards. And I thank God for that. Cause they really didn't teach us how to count backwards in school and what i mean for somebody that might not understand about count backwards is whatever the total is you count from there back to whatever they gave you if your um total was um four dollars and something even the count back would change see you gotta know how to count back with change and you have to know how to count back with dollars and I know people be talking about, oh, we we about to not have money soon. Okay, you can keep on thinking that. And even if it do happen, every time they turn around and they slow down on money, that's what they want the most. Oh, we need change. Y'all got any change to spare? So anyway, so you count back with change and with dollars, and that that gets your that gets your mind clicking in real good. To be honest, to me. I would have thought that they would have taught us that in school. Because getting on the drive through I can I always have flashbacks about that. You get on the drive through you like, dang, I'm going to have to know how to count back and get these people they change. And like I said, if the back, if the, if the drive through is backed up, you get nervous. Even if, you, even if people can't tell, you get nervous. So anyway, like I said, I learned that through working at Christmas. So anyway, man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of mad. That's why I'm glad I got some french fries left. I only got one Christmas left. I bought the, the three crystals, a fry, and a drink. You see, like I said, that's why when you having a problem with your appetite, you have to work with what you what you can work with. You 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 can have a lot of all kind of food, but if you don't have a taste for the doggone food, the shit ain't gonna make no difference. And that's why some people be like, oh well you got this, oh well you can do that, oh why don't you go home and cook? I can cook all the hell I want to, but and I and, and I'll give it to somebody else and be like, oh, here I don't cook this, you can. I ain't even want it. That's what people don't understand, and I'm gonna be real with you. Dealing with dealing with different situations, 
people might think, well, why are you having a problem with, with your appetite? Because, hell, people be going through shit. Now, some people, it's the opposite. Let me, let me say it like this. For a person that really don't understand what it's like to have a problem with your appetite, well, just flip it around to where you, um, you have a problem with eating too much food. See, most people can understand that, but it's the total opposite. Just like you have to be like, damn, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And you just keep on eating. Because I was talking to a, a, a dude the other day that I've been knowing for a long time. Hadn't seen him in years. He had a car wreck. And he must have been a bad car wreck because we didn't fully get into the full conversation of him breaking it down. Because what struck off the real conversation is he said, I ain't supposed to be walking. And I was like, what? So, that's when he started talking about the car wreck. And he already was a, a slim built dude. And he was telling me, he said, he already had told me that he was six foot six. And I'm thinking, he might be six foot six. Foot six. But I would have thought six foot six would have been taller than that. Because I be around tall people all the time, including my, my children. And I don't know if I just done got to used to everybody being tall. Like, if I'm not looking, like, way up at you, then that's not going to feel like you um, six foot four, five, six, or seven, or whatever. But, and then I done seen some people walking. And I done got off topic. But anyway, I'm going to come back. I done seen some people walking. I can tell they taller than the average six, two, and six, three, and all of that. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Dude is, uh, he pretty, he always was pretty slim, which by now, he could have been one of those type people that his um, weight had done balanced out. But I guess if his weight had balanced out and he done gained weight, because like I said, I hadn't seen him in some years. Like, the last time I saw him, I saw him briefly, and when I think about it, he probably wasn't that much thicker uh, than he is now. So anyway, he was like, um, my weight, I need to get some weight, get my weight up, because he said, I weigh like 189, and for his height, that's not a lot, but at the same time, I got two children that, um, they both about the same height, it ain't that much big of a difference, it might be a, a half an inch, one inch, something like that, one of them is on the thicker side, and one of them is on the slimmer side. So the one that's on the slimmer side, he's still under 200 pounds. And so, even though he probably need to gain a few pounds, um, I also remember when my other son was on the thicker side, I mean on the thinner side, but he didn't, yeah, he did look thinner than he looked now. But, um, it's like, you can still be kind of tall, but you don't have to be bony or looking sickly. So anyway, dude, dude must be having, his metabolism must be high, which is, that's kind of what I go through now too. But his metabolism is probably high and probably always been high. Because he, I kind of remember how his family is. Because I used to work with his sister. And when I say, they just like, they was they was brought up just like I was, because they come from that era anyway. Like he's younger than us, but he's just a few years younger than, than we are. But we was brought up where we would um we would cook more at home than anything. It's been a time where people didn't go out and eat like every day or so many times a week. That should, that, that probably lasted maybe every so many weeks or maybe once a month. If that, because I can't remember how often it was. But my grandma might say, we might have been driving, riding with my granddaddy coming from the store. And she'd be like, ooh, I feel like a good old hamburger. And I'd be so glad to, <laughs> I'd be so glad to hear her say, I, I feel like a good old hamburger. 
Or she might say, I feel like a good old ice cream cone. So my grandmama, they didn't say, she didn't say that too often. So anyway, what my point was, is they, they cooked at home real, I mean, all the time. Breakfast, between breakfast, whether, whether it be you going to school, because I know even when I was at school, I know for sure that it was nothing to make a sandwich or a salad or, let me say this, I don't know about everybody else, but people be acting like leftovers is, is a, it's like the worst in the world. Them leftovers be the shit sometimes, because like I say, if you cook a decent amount of food, you're going to have some leftovers unless you got some group, some heavy eating greedy people. And I know how that can be because my oldest son, the one that's on the thicker side, but he, he always had a good appetite. When he was like under 10 years old, I know for sure he was about eight. <clears throat> I used to have to let him eat two, two plates. So he was always going to be an eater. Now my other son is kind of like me. Now my daughter, she, oh, oh, I forgot about my daughter as far as eating. I mean, when she was little, I'm talking about a toddler, she could eat so much food. I was like, even my grandmama was like, dang, she can really eat. I'm talking about like when we would be at a, at a restaurant that it was like a buffet, you let her eat. She could drink and eat at the same time. When I was little, I could not drink and eat at the same time whatsoever my grandma used to say okay you, you can be uh you can go ahead and drink because she used to say and i know a lot of people know when you eat start eating your food dinner whatever they tell you not to drink your your uh drink when really they say it's not good for you to drink and eat at the same time anyway but she didn't play with that so she knew my appetite now if i was one of them children that could eat and drink at the same time she wouldn't have cared but she was like okay you can do you can do all that drinking if you want to or snacking before dinner comes but you know you're gonna eat out your food so but anyway just like i said you got some people and that the dude that i was talking about he is he even said i don't eat a whole lot of fast food well i do remember when me and his sister was working together that's when I learned how his mama then was, they mama was, home-cooked food. Because by then, people started pulling away from that. That was probably in the 90s. People started pulling away from that. So for somebody to still be cooking at home on a regular basis, not just no, oh, I know, I forgot. Some people like to eat on, you know, that Sunday dinner. Now, I'm going to tell y'all real quick. I could have threw, I could have, Slam these doggone crystals down my down real quick. French fries. It was already taking me a whole lot to say. Are you gonna motivate yourself to do this video right now while you got this food? And I had a couple of fries. I was eating on a couple of fries, but I didn't eat the crystals. But I said, okay, you gonna either do it or not. But so I could have thrown these. Christmas, they could have been gone, which I guess is kind of good that I made this video. I said I didn't want to just throw the food in my mouth in. Because my grandmama said that too. She used to get on me, tell me, you don't chew your food up. Then I think that's why I probably got digestive problems. They probably stem from that. Because I ain't never been a person to truly eat food to live. I mean to, uh, how do it go? You eat to live or live to eat. I never was a live to eat person. There's some people out here, they live to eat, but that's, that goes back to what I was saying. When you deal with a loss of appetite and, 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 and you're trying to work on it, it's just like a person that, that can't control how they eat as far as how much they eat. Sometimes you have to make yourself eat. I'm talking about like, if I could go without eating, 
I would sometimes. They say it's good to fast anyway, but I'm talking about what I was talking about earlier. My my taste buds don't kick in. Sometimes I eat chocolate or some type of sweet just to kick in my appetite, my taste buds to be like, okay. It kind of it kind of keep them going instead of making them dead. And when I say by dead is you sit around like I'm a drinker, and when I say drink. I'm talking about, like this right here. I ain't talking about no damn alcohol, because I know some people be ready. Ah, you did that, that, that. No, I'm talking about regular drink. I can drink juices. Like, ooh, back in the day, because I had got back on them Kool, on their Kool-Aid. Um, I can, I can kill some Kool-Aid. But see, I ain't really been drinking sodas lately. But I do, I, I have been, uh, drinking some of the ginger uh drinks and what else have i been drinking for the most part um well, i've been drinking that cranberry juice and stuff like that but i'm talking about something that's got that carbonation to it but anyway so just like i was explaining a person that uh has a problem with uh not having a good appetite is just like somebody the opposite of somebody that can't control can't control their eating. But like I said, one thing people can realize is the reason why I brought dude up earlier is because he one of them type people that his his stomach, because I kind of remember how he probably was back in the day. And uh just like my son can be like that too, my older son. Um it's like they got a bottom of this pit. Cause they can eat my son my son can eat one of them plates like my hand is the plate his plate can be piled up piled up and he can eat one plate and still work on another but my grandmama my granddaddy used to be like that too they my grandmama shout out like she ain't remember my grandmama them used to eat two plates of food every time we sit down but now i can see how that 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 comes about I ain't gonna lie, my son that's on the on the slimmer side, he kind of like me. He said, uh, he said it one day. I had to figure it out one day. My dog on something, and it ain't been that long ago. I be like, I get tired of chewing, don't want to eat no more. I'm like, I'm tired of eating. But then I realized that my stomach wasn't full. <coughs> so he said it one day. He said. I ain't gonna lie, I get tired of eating. I said, oh, I know what you're talking about. See, that's how me and my children can can start off a conversation. Because they'll say something, now that they've gotten older, they'll say something to trigger a conversation. And that's how we get the whole conversation going. Because some of the stuff that you might end up talking to them about, you might not have really talked to an adult, a grown-up or a person your age, about that kind of stuff. So yeah, you be really like, I really ain't want to eat. And so then you start realizing, and the reason why I was talking about it and elaborated on it, is because you realize that you don't want to, you don't want to keep eating, but your stomach ain't full. So that's why I say somebody might say, oh she talking, she tripping, she talking crazy, whatever, whatever you, you can say whatever you want to, but I know what the hell I'm talking about, cause my mouth cannot want to eat. And so, you would think that I wasn't hungry, but my stomach might be growling. And that's why I say, I have to, see, I didn't used to even think about it like that. You have to wake up your taste buds. My taste buds will not be, it'll be like a dormant, and, it, and you don't want to eat. So anyway, that's one thing I have to get on my son that's a little on the slimmer side, is because I know he can be like me where he don't want he might not want to eat the appetite might not be there just like the other he'll go without eating for real and i'll be getting on it and see sometimes you have to take supplements and vitamins to uh to offset that or like i said i eat chocolate sometimes but anyway all right i done got a little bit of conversation out that was my first time that i did a what you want to call a mukbang Whatever y'all call it, but I, I'm gonna look it up just to make sure 
and I'm not no huge eater, so I'm not gonna be sitting here eating no whole lot of crab legs and stuff in my mouth because I'm the type that I will eat, especially in a restaurant, I'll eat because I might not want to leave no food. And I'll be so doggone tight and uncomfortable. And sometimes you don't feel like being like that because that stuff can last for an hour or two. You be driving a car, riding in the car, having other things to do. And you like, dang, I'm so uncomfortable. So anyway, I'm going to end that video. I did it for the first time. I don't know what kind of other things I'll be trying to do as far as those type of videos. But like I said, I just wanted to get one in. All right, it was good too. I might have to go get some more today.